I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand the terms quartiles, interquartile range and also understand how to sketch or plot box and whisker diagram. I've taken up a question from previous test paper so that you get good concepts. We are given marks or scores for a test for a set of tests. This data is a sample of the class and the data is 65, 45, 80, 76, 92, 66, 74, 56, 73, 83, 82, 87, 56, 8 and 74. So these are the scores for a set of tests from a class. Now you need to find or determine mean, median, median is the second quartile and the mode from this data. You need to determine first quartile, third quartile and interquartile range. You need to identify any outliers, show your work, graph modified box and whisker plot. So that is what you need to do with the given data. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now this is kind of a raw data given us in the mixed form. First step should be to arrange them, arrange the data in increasing or decreasing order. So let's do that part first. Let's count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 in all, right? Remember, we have uh, in data, these are 15 numbers. Okay. Now to arrange them, let's arrange them in increasing order. So we'll begin with the leftmost number, 65. Now 65 seems to be somewhere in between. So I'll just write 65, let's say here, right? 45, so 45 is on the left side. So let me write 45, let's say here, 45. And then we have 80, 80 seems to be much higher. So I'll write 80 here. So it is approximately putting them in order, right? 76 is lower than 80, so I'm writing 76 here. Then 92 is on the right side of 80, 66 next to 65, 74 before 76, okay, 56 is somewhere in between, okay. 73 is before 74, 83 is, me comes here, 82, okay, 82, 87, 87, 56, we have two of them now, and then 8, 8 is on the left side, 74, we have two of them now, okay. So in a way, we have arranged our data from lowest to the highest, correct? So let's count them. Do we have 15 numbers or have we skipped? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have all 15 numbers. That's good. So we have taken care of all these numbers and that's the order in which we have written. Now it's very easy to find the median, especially the mode. For mean, we'll have to add them up and divide by 15, right? So let's do mean first. So let's add them up. While you're adding, you may or may not use the ordered numbers. You may use the numbers which are given just to ensure that uh, you have not missed any, right? So what I will do here to find mean, let me write down mean here. I will add all the numbers and there are 15 of them. So I'll divide them by 15. So I'm just writing add all the numbers in a short form since I have very limited space here. So we'll just add them up. So we have 65 plus 45 plus 80 plus 76 plus 92 plus 66 plus 74 plus 56 plus 73 plus 83 plus 82 plus 87 plus 56 plus 8 plus 74 equal to divide by 15 equal to in decimals we get 67.8 right so let me write down the number 67.8 so that's 67.8 is the average correct so for finding the average you may or may not use the ordered set of numbers correct 
Now for median, we have to really put them in order and then answer, correct? So let me write down median now. Median should be the middle value. Also we call a second quartile. So it's just the middle value. So if there are 15 numbers, if you divide 15 by, by 7, I mean by 2, you get 7.5. So we are looking for 8th number in sequence. So count. That should be done on the increasing order or decreasing order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the number in the center is 74, which is the 8th number. So this is what we get as the median, right? That's the middle. Now mode. Okay, so mode for us is how much? Mode is most frequent. So which numbers are most frequent? There are two of these, which is 56, which appears twice, and 74. So as you know, mode, we can have more than one as your answer. So the mode in this case is 56 or 74, correct? Now let's find or determine Q1 and Q3. Now first quartile is the center value of these first eight numbers correct so that is the fourth number eight divided by two so q1 will be equals to the fourth number let's count one two three four so it is 56 so fourth number is 56 you can see from here that if you take 56 we have three numbers on the left three on the right do you see that so that is how you find the first quartile and the third quarter will be equal to the middle of this section right so we are, we are already here so three numbers leave one two three the fourth one which is 82 is our answer right so or you could do backwards fourth from the backward one two three four 82 becomes the third quartile right so we know these two what is interquartile so interquartile ranges is q3 minus q1 correct so that is 82 minus 56 and we can now calculate this so we have 82 minus 56 equals to 26 so interquartile is 26 for us correct part c is identify any outliers show your work so in this data you know all most of the data is around the center mark of 74 except for 8 right so you could have written outlier is 8 directly but the question is you need to show your work so it's important to show your work if you don't you may lose marks right show your work so how do you find outliers so the outliers could be found by using the formula that is you could use third quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range let me write this as iqr right so that gives you one extreme the right extreme the other extreme is on the left side which is q1 right so it could be q1 plus 1.5 times interquartile range is that okay so let's calculate these two values let's calculate these two values so every value which is within this is not an outlier but beyond is right so that is what it is so in our case, uh, what we will do here is quartile is 82. So we'll say 82 plus 1.5 times 26, right? So times 26, how much is that? So let's write it down. It is 82 plus 1.5 times 26 is equal to 121. So this is 121. So right limit is 121. For the left limit, we have 56 plus 1.5 times 26, right? So it is 56 plus 1.5 times 26. It is 95. So, okay, now I did something wrong. Okay, it should be minus, I'm sorry, because we are going towards the left side, I'm sorry. So it is 56 minus. 1.5 times 26 okay 17 yeah i'm sorry for that. It's the left side so we'll take away so the leftmost limit is 17 so everything between 17 to 121 is okay and the data which is beyond this is an outlier so from our 
numbers, we know 8 is the one which is beyond this and therefore the answer is A. So 8 is an outlier. Okay, now let's graph the modified box and whiskers plot. Now when we say modified, so what we are doing is we are keeping 8 as an outlier, right? So, so let me sketch one here. Let me push this page a bit on the right. So let's say these are okay so what we will do here is kind of sketch a box and then write down the values so in our box we have the value of q1 q2 and q3 now these values are 67 point that is q2 let me write uh, i mean q2 is 74 okay so what we have here is let me write down here so let us say let's write 74 as q2 here right so this is let's say q2 which is 74 right q3 is 82 so let's say q3 is equals to 82 and q1 is 56 q1 56 is like more on this side okay q1 56 i'm not making a scale right so what i'm doing here it's kind of making a box for you a very limited space here so let's say this corresponds to 56 okay kind of like this with 74 and 82 much closer than what i have shown so let me write draw this line here showing 72 right so that becomes the the box and the whiskers will be stretched from here to the maximum point which we have which is 92 right so this extends to 92 okay and in this case it extends to 45 so we'll extend it to 45 only so let's say this is 45 for us and the outlier is 8 so we'll say this one is the outlier so that is how you could actually show the diagram correct now this portion is your lower datum right and that is the higher datum so you can write here terms higher datum and lower datum correct so in a way i mean it's not that neat but what you need to do is you need to write numbers let's say 1 to 100 here maybe in groups of tens right so let's say this is your 10 and then let's say this is your 100, okay, and just split it up where this could be 70, right, since this is 74. Then make your diagram and show the, the points as shown here. Very important to note the quartiles in the diagram as shown here. I hope that helps. Go through this video once again, try to understand the concepts. I hope that helps you to prepare for your own test. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.